while I'm here at this Bastion Inlet, and I'm going back to the same spot that my cousin took me a few years ago. And uh, we fished here, and we caught a bunch of catfish, nothing really special. It's a place I know to start at. Well, I'm just getting here, and the wind is really gnarly. And I'm gonna go walk up and down the canal, see if I can sight fish anything. And I'm probably gonna do some blind casting. So let's see how this goes. I'm here with an 8 weight Loop Opti and an Orvis Mid Arbor Reel with a sink tip line. I'm casting Deceivers, Clousers, and Shrimp Patterns. It seems as though there are some bluefish around. by the bridge for a little bit. Got to climb down these slippery rocks. I'm going to try to see if there's anything right up against these buttresses. Right around these buttresses are a great place to start because I fished here last year. Although I wasn't fly fishing, I caught quite a few snook in October. It's January now, so it's really not snook season, but I figured I'd put a couple clips of that last trip in here to show you. I'm gonna walk up and down the beach a bit, see if I can see anything feeding in the roll, but I'm not all that optimistic. So I'm heading into this little spot here, there's like a causeway where it leads out to the river and it's got a nice little choke point and maybe I'll be able to blind cast into something and pick it up. I just had a pretty hard hit right here, but I haven't gotten to come back yet.
Well, that's about it for this trip. I really don't know the area all that well, and I don't really fish uh, Florida all that often. But it was really good getting out there, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Hopefully I'll be back and have opportunities to catch more fish. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.